The battle over repealing the Affordable Care Act is intensifying as Democrats and Republicans go head-to-head -head over whether to scrap the six-year-old law. On Wednesday, Republicans in the Senate formally voted to set in motion a complex, multi-step process. They're hoping shortly after taking office, the president-elect will sign a law that would scrap the key parts of President Obama's signature health care plan. Republican leaders are using a tactic called budget reconciliation. This requires just a simple majority to repeal the law. The process also requires only 51 votes in the Senate and 218 in the House. Republicans hold 52 seats in the Senate and 241 in the House. This tactic will prevent the possibility of a filibuster. The catch? It can only be used once a year. Vice President-elect Mike Pence tweeting that health care reform is Donald Trump's top priority, saying, We're going to keep our promise to the American people. Our first order of business will be to repeal and replace Obamacare. Trump also took to Twitter, but with a much harsher tone. He tweeted out, The Democrats, led by head clown Chuck Schumer, know how bad Obamacare is and what a mess they are in. Instead of working to fix it, they do the typical political thing and blame. The fact is, Obamacare was a lie from the very beginning. The Senate Minority Leader responded by tweeting, Republicans should stop clowning around with people's health care. Don't make America sick again. On both sides of the Capitol, the parties are mobilizing for what is shaping up to be the first big showdown once Trump takes office. On Wednesday, Republicans and Democrats laid out their respective strategies for dismantling and defending Obamacare. Some Democrats saying the GOP has to come up with a viable replacement if they're going to send a repeal bill to Trump's desk. But what exactly does that consist of? Republicans are reportedly not unified around one particular strategy. Republican Representative Charlie Dent says so far there's no consensus on how to proceed. Here's a few ideas that Republicans are talking about. They want federal funding for high-risk pools like those with pre-existing conditions. They do want adult children to remain on their parents' insurance until the age of 26. And here's a big one. Nobody will be required to have health insurance. They also want to offer tax credits or for those who don't have coverage through their employer. And Republicans also would like to roll back Medicaid expansion and block any grants at the state level. They want health saving accounts. And one more big idea with a lot of support, sell insurance across state lines. That will, of course, allow for more competitive pricing. But if Republicans do repeal the law without a replacement, it could be months or years before Congress is able to agree on a replacement health care law. The Department of Health and Human Services released its most recent numbers for Obamacare's 27, 2017 open enrollment. 8.8 .8 million people signed up for or renewed a plan by the end of December. That's up 200,000 from the year before.